Even though this was Fnatic's first attempt at a wireless gaming mouse, I was going into this with a high expectations because of all the positive reviews that they're getting with their previous pre-built keyboard. And with this mouse coming in at $80, it would have been a great value mouse with all the stuff that it offers, as well as the shape, the size. I think it's a perfect mouse, especially for my hand size, but Fnatic kind of blew it and I'm going to go into the reasons why they did, but there are a lot of positive things about this mouse I would also like to share as well. So I do wanna say that this is not a review unit. I actually purchased this in their second batch of pre-orders that I was able to get my hands on. Now there are some great things about this mouse, but I'll start off with the negatives. The coating on this mouse is the biggest downside, which is going to make it unusable for some people. I think Fnatic was trying to make a fingerprint free mouse while trying to offer some type of grip for its users. It does a great job at resisting any grease from the hand, However, once your hand gets a little sweaty, the mouse end up just feeling slippery to hold. I don't find this to be too much of an issue for me, but I know for some people it can be a sole reason why this mouse wouldn't work. Especially if you have a really tight grip on your mouse, you would not like how it feels in your hand if you get really sweating during your gaming sessions. There is a bit of a pre-travel on the mouse tube button on my copy. I'm not the one to usually recognize these type of things when I'm using a mouse, but I do with this one. It isn't anything significant, but if you do click often, you will notice it. The side buttons do feel a bit cheap. I'm not sure exactly what switch they are using, but it feels more like a hard button that you're pressing instead of a click. I don't mind it and I find it to be quite good since I would accidentally press on it on other mouses. Now, if you are a user that needs your side buttons often, then you probably won't enjoy using this one. You can't change any of the settings unless you plug in the mouse, which is annoying. I hope Fnatic fixes this software issue in the future with an update. The only thing you can do is switch between the presets that you already have with the DPI button that's already on the mouse. I've also ran into some sensor and double clicking issues that I'm having with my Fnatic Bolt. Now I'm not saying every single individual is gonna have this issue, but with my copy alone, the 800 DPI seems to be a bit faster than other 800 DPI settings that I've used on other mouses. And also the sensor was freezing up during some of my Valorant matches. And you can see this happening with one of my clips here where I'm trying to take a quick peek. And I was actually trying to move my crosshair to take at least one shot before I go back into cover. However, the mouse just froze up and it ended up just freezing up for like two seconds and I can't do anything about it. And then after that, it resumed back to normal. I've actually contacted Fnatic to let them know about this issue and they told me to reset the mouse by doing the following. So if you do have this issue, here's what you should do. First, you wanna make sure the mouse is plugged in and then you wanna hold the mouse one and two, the DPI button and both of the side buttons. So five buttons at once and then just wait until the scroll wheel flashes twice and you want a white color to flash twice. So after resetting the mouse, I didn't have too much of an issue with the sensor. However, then the double clicking started to happen. So I just ended up just replugging in the 2.4 gigahertz dongle and that seems like it solved the issue temporarily. I contacted Fnatic again and they told me that the buttons that I've sent with the pre-travels, they shouldn't sound like that. So they're actually sending me another copy of the Fnatic Bolt. So hopefully that new copy can fix this issue. So as you can see, there is quite of a quality control issue right now with Fnatic. And that's probably my biggest concern when it comes to this mouse is the overall quality control. So if you're an individual who's buying this mouse, you might be getting a great mouse and another person can buy this mouse and they might be getting the mouse that I have right now, which is giving me a ton of issues. Now, besides some more the negative things that I just mentioned about, I think Fnatic did a great job with this mouse on other aspects. And there are a lot of positive things about this mouse that you should know. First off, they did a great job in the packaging and the details of this mouse. The unboxing experience was above average. They gave additional skates, a paracord that had a rubber piece for the cable management with the Fnatic logo. I mean, even the Shroud G303, which was $130, didn't even provide that experience. Fnatic has also nailed it in terms of the shape, I think for a small to medium sized hand who uses a claw grip. Now I usually use a relaxed claw grip and I think that's perfect for this mouse. There's a slight hump which fits in perfectly into my hand. Something that I was previously missing from the Model O wireless and the Shroud G303 was overly aggressive. If you have a small to medium sized hand, you will love this mouse. You can palm grip it, but it isn't ideal. The mouse plugs in with a USB-C cable, but I think that should just be a standard nowadays with every single mouse that's coming out. The 110 hours of battery life has been really good. I mean, I've started using this mouse at 75% when I first got it and it's only dropped to 50% and it's only been a week so far and it even has RGB with a great battery life. The PTFE skates on this mouse is very smooth and glides really well, even though they seem small and doesn't cover a huge amount of surface area on the bottom of the mouse. 
I find them to be even better than the ones I have on my Shroud G303. Despite the pre-travel of the mouse 1 and 2, I find them to be quite satisfying with mouse 1 and 2 with the kale switches that they're implementing. The scroll wheel is one of my favorite features of this mouse. It has the tactile feedback without it being too loud whenever you scroll. I also love these subtle lightning bolts that they implemented in the scroll wheel with the RGB. It gives it a really nice look and I find it to be a very good looking mouse. So if you're looking into getting this mouse, I would just wait to be honest until they fix their QC issue. Now, you might be lucky and just get a perfect Fnatic bolt or you could be unlucky like me that needs to get it exchanged and returned. So I'll keep you guys updated with a shorts video uh, in the future once I get that second copy of the Fnatic bolt and let you guys know if it's actually fixed with the sensor issue and also the double clicking issue that I was running into. But I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I'll see you all in the next video.